Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiat's filing of this motion at this point in time is telling but premature. Let me explain why. The PEP government is clearly excited about certain findings and comments contained in the High Court judgment issued on 11 of October. And these are findings in relation to certain actions taken by some of us in the aftermath of the 2011 general election. However, as DPM himself pointed out, Singapore has a court structure that subjects High Court judgments to possible appeal to the Court of Appeal. And this avenue of appeal enables parties who are aggrieved by judgments of the High Court to seek review of the findings by the Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal, consisting of at least three judges of appeal, will review the findings at the trial and may affirm, reverse or vary the findings. And if I may quote from the Supreme Court of Judicature Act, it is stated that the Court of Appeal may draw inferences of facts and give any judgment and make any order which ought to have been given or made and make such further or other orders as the case requires. So the judgment referred to in this motion was delivered on 11 of October and under the applicable procedures, any party who is dissatisfied with the judgment can file a notice of appeal within one month. In this case, the deadline for filing the appeal is 11 of November, which is next Monday. We have been studying the judgment with our lawyers since it was released, and I can inform the House today that we have decided to appeal the judgment to the Court of Appeal. We are still within the time frame to do so, and it will be filed by 11 of November. Accordingly, the DPM acted prematurely in its decision to file the motion, and I ask the House to reject it. Whatever the trial judge has decided is subject to review by the Court of Appeal. This is a civil proceeding and involves novel points of law. And contrary to what I think DPM had suggested, it has not been decided as to whether any loss has been caused to the Town Council. And on this point, I should put his, this in perspective by referring to the summary which DPM Heng distributed earlier, and next one, para 27. <clears throat> Where the judge states, or it is summarized quite clearly, that the legal burden of proving loss falls upon the plaintiffs. So this point has not been decided as to whether loss has been proven. Mr. Speaker, as members of parliament, Mr. Lau Tia Kang and I have duties to discharge, and this motion appears to be aimed at curtailing us from discharging our duties while the case is still pending for final adjudication. We are still pursuing the matter through the courts, and we thank everyone who has stood by us and helped us in our quest for justice. <clears throat>